Let's take 23 playing cards, 20 red cards and 3 black cards. Give a random shuffle and without watching, pick any one card. Let's say this one. What color it will be? I can say with a good confidence that it is a red card just because there are more red cards and less black cards. But that doesn't mean every time if I draw a card, it will be red. But we can say there are pretty good chances of picking red cards because they are more. In mathematical language, there is a probability of 20 upon 23 that you will draw a red card and 3 upon 23 to draw a black card. 20 upon 23 is always greater than 3 upon 23. Hence, the probability of picking red card is more. And every time you pick a card, a chance of picking it red is more than black. For this particular problem, it's very unnecessary to explain it in terms of mathematics because it's a common sense. It's logic. More red cards, more the chance. But there are some problems where this logic or your guess fails and you really have to understand mathematics behind it to approach to the acceptable solution. It's a bit complicated to understand, at least it was for me for the first time, but I will try my best to explain. Today, we will discuss about the Monty Hall problem. In 1970s, there was a popular TV show, Let's Make a Deal, and the host was Mr. Monty Hall. There used to be three doors, and behind one of the door, there would be a car. Behind other two doors, there would be nothing. The host Monty would ask to one of the spectators to pick any door. If he picks the right door, then he wins a brand new car. But if he picks the wrong door, then he wins nothing. Pretty simple game. But there was a little twist. Let's say you are one of the spectators and initially you picked door number one. You don't know where the car is, but the Monty knows. He will open one door for you where there is no car behind. So he opens third door. So now you are left with two choices, door number one or two. And now you know the car is behind one of these two doors. At this point, either you can stick or switch. Stick is go with whatever your first choice was, door number one, or switch. Change your choice to another door, door number two. Is it a bit complicated? Let's see clearly what's going to happen. Monty will ask you to choose door number to win a car. You will choose any random number. Then Monty will open one of the doors where there is nothing behind. Now you are left with two choices. Monty will ask you to stick or switch. Now it's your choice. What will you do? Will you stick or switch? Now let's play this game and see what happens. So this is a random number generator. It will generate random numbers between 1, 2 and 3. So basically this will be you and I will be the host. I will decide where to hide the car. Let's say for example, I have hidden the car behind door number 1. Now it's your turn. You guessed door number 3. So now I will open door number two where there is nothing behind. Now you are left with two options, either door number three that you have chosen or door number one. If you stick with your initial guess, you will lose. This time, if you switch to door number one, you will win because the car is behind door number one. Let's play it one more time. Let's say this time I hide the car behind door number two and you guessed door number two. So I will open door number three for you. There is nothing behind. So you are left with two options now. Door number two, your guess, and door number one. Now this time, if you stick with your initial guess, that is door number two, you will win. And if you switch to door number one, you will lose. You had two options to decide and you don't know where the car is. There is a 50-50 chance, right? It doesn't matter whether you stick or switch. 
or does it? Let's play this game multiple times and see if any of these two choices will give you real benefits. You can clearly see here switching your choice from your initial guess to another available option increases the chances of winning a lot. But how does it happen? Most people didn't know that and continued with their initial guess. This problem is famously known as the Monty Hall problem. You don't know where the car is, but the car is only behind one of the doors. Behind two other doors, there is nothing. So if you choose one door randomly, there is a good chance that you will choose a door with nothing behind because there are two such doors. There is a good chance that one of other two doors has a car behind. Now Monty will come and will open another door with no car behind. So now there is a good chance that other door which is closed has a car behind. Now you have an opportunity to change your mind. And now if you do and you switch, there is a good chance that you will win. I'm using the word good chance because it's not a rule. This will not work if your initial guess is right. It's a game of chance. So switching will increase your winning probability. And that is it for today. If you find this video interesting, please hit a like button and do subscribe. See you in the next one.